Welcome to the Monday, March 26, 2012 edition of Erner Berry's Daily Video, sponsored by Erner Berry's 2012 Executive Conference. In today's report, a brief look at crab imports and pricing, and later we take a look at our HRI Buyer's Guide Movers of the Week report. Now let's look at the markets with your host, Jamie Chadwick. Wendy's Animal Welfare Council announced two major improvements to its animal welfare standards to significantly improve the humane treatment of chickens and pigs. The company's Animal Welfare Council said that OK Foods Incorporated, one of its chicken suppliers, started using a low atmospheric pressure system that renders the chickens unconscious before the birds are handled by plant workers. The process, known as LAPS, replaces the industry standard of practicing electrically stunning the chickens. For more on Wendy's recent improvements to its service and other news in the food service industry, please visit foodmarket.com. Now here's Seafood.com news writer Michael Ramsing looking at the current state of the crab market. According to Erner Berry's March Crab Insiders report, crab imports for January 2012 were higher with overall imports up 24.7%. Snow crab begins the year higher, up 35.2%. The current Canadian snow crab market ranges weak to full steady depending on size. King crab is about steady to barely steady for both red and golden king crab. Supplies are adequate to fully adequate for adult demand. Finally, Dunganus remains full steady, supplies are light. January 2012 year-to-date red king crab imports begin the year higher when compared to 2011 at 19.9% higher than the previous year. The market for all sizes remains about steady to barely steady with a few lower offerings noted. Supplies do remain light, however, demand is fair to lackluster. Replacement product continues to be very limited. As for the Golden King Crab market, like the Red King Crab market, it's about steady to barely steady. Some lower offerings are noted, especially on smaller crab. Demand remains dull, however. For more information on the current state of the crab industry, please visit Comtel and look for our March 2012 Crab Insiders Report by clicking Imports Exports under the Seafood tab. Thanks, Michael. To wrap up today's video, we're going to take a look at Erner Berry's HRI Buyer's Guide, which is a weekly publication dedicated to current commodity prices being paid to wholesalers and purveyors by hotels, restaurants, and institutions. Our biggest gainer last week resides in the egg market. Shell eggs continue to trend higher last week as wholesale buyers prepare inventories of expected holiday demand. White jumbos through mediums have all advanced as a result. Mediums in particular are moving due to feature activity and spread relationships with the heavier sizes. Moving over to domestic seafood, American live lobster prices have shown a steady increase over the past few weeks due to short supplies. New caught product is close to nil, leaving inventory product to cover market demand. Economic uncertainty caused many sellers to hold conservative volumes for the off-season. Many traders have reported better than expected sales. Turning to the lamb market, lamb rib racks trended lower as seasonal demand has diminished. Several packers have indicated that interest has shifted more to the legs due to the upcoming holidays. Finally, the item that lost the most ground last week came from the box beef complex. Choice loin meat has come under a bit of pressure lately as inventories have outgrown demand near term. Increased production lately, coupled with larger than average carcass weights, have also been contributing factors, resulting in 4.5% drop in the price of choice top butts. That concludes today's video. Stay tuned for the latest developments in the protein markets. Thanks for watching and we'll see you next time. This broadcast is sponsored by Erner Berry's 2012 Executive Conference Strategies for the Future, April 29th through May 1st at Caesars Palace in Las Vegas, Nevada. Visit ErnerBerry.com slash executive for more information or give us a call at 732-240-5330 to register today.